السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں لاس بلیسنگ ان پیس بی آن یو اسلام کین بی سمرائز ان ون سنگل ورڈ اٹ از دی وے آف لائف دیٹ لکس آن یونیورس مین کائنڈ اینڈ دا ہول آف ہیومینٹی ان ٹرمس آف یونٹی اینڈ دس یونٹی از بیسٹ ریپرزینٹیڈ ان دا بلیف ان ون اینڈ اونلی اللہ سبحان و تعالی بلیف ان گاڈ از پارٹ آف تھیولوجی آف مینی ورلڈ ریلیجن بٹ ان اسلام اٹس ناٹ اے میٹر آف تھیولوجی اٹس اے میٹر آف فائنڈنگ آؤٹ اباؤٹ یونیورس مین کائنڈ اینڈ دا ہسٹری آف ہیومینٹی ویئر ڈز اٹ بگن ہاؤ اٹ آپریٹس and what is its end. Therefore, belief in God becomes not a matter of theology, but a matter of rationalization, investigation, and trying to find out what is the purpose of human living on earth. Therefore, Tawheed or oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is no more in Islam a matter of certain assumptions but it is a matter of investigation looking into material reality around us the quran begins by telling us the whole of universe presents the raw material for us to think if you look around we find creation going on If you look around, we find a balance in universe. If you look around, we find messages that come out of universe calling us to think, who is operating it? Who has made it? Is it a matter of just a big bang or a matter of design and pattern? Who is keeping a balance in every movement in universe? Therefore, The Quran talks about those signs and those aspects which one can see with naked eye in universe and that lead us to think there has to be a creator. This practical approach becomes more clear when the Quran deals with human life. If human life is simply a matter of being born being in this society for a while doing things in commercial life doing things in political life doing things in society and then disappearing then life does not have much meaning life means it should move around an objective usually human beings take prosperity wealth fame achievement of excellence as objective islam tells us that human life has an important dimension and that dimension is bringing cohesiveness and unity in life unity in life is possible only when we observe one single principle in life and that principle is a matter of belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore Islam begins with one simple understanding of life where human beings being creation of Allah should discover for themselves whether they can live a life of contradictions or a life of mutuality and unity Islam's concern for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a matter of wild thinking it's a matter of logical thinking it's a matter of scientific thinking it's a matter of trying to find out how we relate ourselves with other human beings if my personal interests are the basis then there is every chance of conflict 
But if all human beings realize there is the ultimate creator who wants us to live in peace and harmony, who wants us to be fair and honest, who wants us to be loyal to him alone and not to my personal interest, then Tawheed or belief in God creates a society where human life, human honor, human property, human reason, everything is not only protected but promoted. Therefore, Tawheed or belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a matter of theology, it's a matter of living life in this world. Consequently, one who believes in Tawheed goes through an intellectual transformation, goes through a process in which he has to consider or she has to consider what are implications of Tawheed for my family life. In family life, in economic life, in social life, in cultural life, everywhere one's belief in God gets fully reflected. Someone who has no belief in God may think culture is a matter of certain ways of living. But one who believes in God uses a dress, uses manners, uses a speech, uses all ways of communication in order to please the Creator God. Therefore, culture becomes a reflection of belief in one and only Creator. If someone consciously, if someone willfully understands the meaning of belief in God, then his economic life becomes a matter of service. It remains no more a matter of exploitation because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demands from his creation in economic matters they should do their best to achieve highest good nevertheless they should not be selfish they should not exploit others they should not make use of the poor to accumulate wealth for the rich on the other hand all those people who are involved in economic development must get their proportionate share. This aspect is given to a person by belief in Tawheed or in God because it's God who tells us how should we frame our economy. Economy not only for those who are believers but economy for the whole of humanity. When someone believes in God it also brings an impact and effect on one's family life. A person who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the creator takes his family as a blessing, as a gift. Does not take family as an economic unit where some people are earning, others are spending. Where members of family live due to convenience and benefit each other. On the other hand, it becomes a matter of mutuality. That family understanding, sacrifice, love, respect, support, providing support in situations of crisis becomes an obligation. The Quran tells us repeatedly that you are not allowed to severe relations, break relations with family. Even if a person has non-Muslim parents, he has to be extremely polite, kind, cooperative, respectful, and to spend on them from his own earning. A family life which is full of love, is what is visualized and what becomes an important aspect of Tawheed in society. Therefore, belief in Allah or belief in one God is not a matter 
of just a theological uh, or philosophical need, it's a matter of human need. Human society can become more meaningful when it learns how to live in a unified system. Just as universe is following a unified system, we do not find a clash and crisis in the movement of star and moon and sun and galaxies. We do not find deviation from the movement of so many objects in universe. And that unified system which exists calls for translating the same unity in individual life, in social life, in family life, in political life. Consequently, Tawheed becomes a matter of reality, not a matter of theology. It is not just a concept, but it's a matter of how to live life meaningfully in a given society. That's why when someone declares there is no God but Allah, it makes a declaration that no more money is my God. No more fame is my God. No more benefits that bring my family uh, into focus are my God. But those values which bring a loving atmosphere among human beings, that atmosphere where we serve humanity is what is the objective of belief in one God. In Islam, human beings relate to God not only by their devotion or worship, but they belong, they, 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 they make a kind of relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by way of their relationship with humanity. If they serve human beings following the dictates of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, following his teachings, then this serving humanity becomes observance of faith in oneness and uniqueness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why the simple statement of Shahada, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, there is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger, which is declaration of oneness of Allah and modality of the Prophet's personality becomes a cornerstone of Islam. That's why belief in God is the basis for every single action in Muslim society and in human community. Tawheed or belief in God in Islam is a universal message. It's not only for Muslims, but for the whole of humanity to think how they could find out one single noble principle based on which they can have a meaningful family life, a meaningful economic life, a meaningful political system, and a meaningful society. Due to all these various dimensions, belief in God becomes the symbol, becomes the one single aspect which dominates the whole Islamic thinking. Belief in God becomes a symbol for unity in life of the individual, relationship between man and universe, and basis of relationship between man and God, the Creator. It is belief in Allah that makes life of a Muslim not only secure, but extremely peaceful, peace within and peace without.